Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a worth of a buy or not nah foundation review on, where, here it is, I'm like, where is it? Uh, the NYX Born to Glow Foundation. Um, so this is supposed to be a naturally radiant foundation. Now this foundation, I know what some of you guys are thinking, girl, I have oily skin, how is that gonna work? It does claim to be a naturally radiant foundation, so I'm assuming that this is gonna give me like a beautiful glow from within, um, that type of finish. Um, I got this in the shade Neutral Tan, and this is supposed to last 12 months, and it has 1.01 ounces. So it's supposed to be a buildable medium coverage foundation that has a natural radiant finish that lasts all day. Um, it is a liquid foundation that blends like a dream to even out your skin complexion and it has 45 shades and this retails for $10. I did purchase this on the NYX website because I personally couldn't find it anywhere else. Um, and I think it's awesome that they have 45 shades. Main ingredient is water. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into this. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do first is I'm going to moisturize with my ultra repair cream and I am going to just apply this all over. Moisturizing is so important. It doesn't matter what you do, but you better moisturize because moisturizing your skin will always benefit you in the long run. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep my skin correctly for this Infallible Matte Lock Primer by L'Oreal. And I am going to apply this one in the areas where I get oily. And I'm just trying to prep my skin correctly for this foundation since I know that I'm going into a more luminous finish. I feel like luminous shouldn't scare people if you prep your skin correctly. I feel like right now in the summertime is when you can get away with those dewy looks just because I feel like everybody loves to look dewy during the summertime. So I think that right now is like the perfect time to like really kind of be like, woo! Come through, do. I hope you guys are enjoying my new background. I switched it up. If you watch my vlogs, you know this. Um, but it's so funny because I'm wearing like all silver jewelry and my background is like pretty like yellow and gold. I didn't even think about that. I wanted to do some hoops. The bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoe. So for the areas where I tend to be a little bit more like normal skin slash a little bit of dry patches, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Coconut three in one primer water. This has been something that I've been really into lately, probably the past few days. Like I like during the summer to have like a refresher type of primer, especially in areas where I feel like it could be a little drying. And I feel like it just kind of brings that hydration back into the skin without applying like a cream consistency that can tend to like give you like luminosity or like make it too overly dewy. So. And this coconut one smells straight up like summer. You can find these at Ulta. Um, I think also like your local drugstores. Let's see how this does. I'm gonna bring you guys in close because we're trying to get out in here and we can get started. It's actually not really as runny as I thought it would be. I think this will match my neck wall. Feels very velvety. And we're going in with our sponge first. I'm using the e.l.f. sponge. Ooh, that looks pretty. This actually looks really pretty. I thought it was gonna look super like, whoa, glowy, but no, it looks very nice. I also, if you guys are noticing, I got lash extensions. Um, summertime, I like to do my lashes. But if you watch the vlog, you know. Let me just talk about this, really nice. You can see some of my brightness peek through and then with the foundation with one layer, it looks very healthy. It looks very natural. Um, it definitely is a very lightweight consistency. I would say this coverage is medium. It's not like a full extreme coverage, but I can tell that it's gonna be a medium coverage because it feels very lightweight when you apply it. It doesn't feel like a thick consistency where you're gonna be like, whoa, I got a lot of coverage. But then again, I feel like considering it is more so medium coverage, it covered pretty, pretty well, and I'm definitely living for that. So I do want to build it up a little bit more because I want you guys to see the potential of it being built up. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take that much, and I'm just gonna target it mainly on the cheek area because the forehead's pretty evened out, and I don't really have to worry about that area that much. This consistency feels really good. It's definitely more suited for people that like a natural finish compared 
to the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. That foundation is very, very full coverage. Um, definitely a foundation for my full coverage people. But this one is like amazing for people that weren't into that and thought that was too heavy and thick. This is something you'll like. I was expecting a lot of luminosity, but I feel like I look really, like it looks really healthy. Now this was with a sponge. You guys know that sponge that are a little bit damp tends to sometimes absorb a little bit of the product. Um, so I can't wait to see how it's gonna do with my brush because I feel like with brushes, it's always a more fuller coverage type of consistency. Um, like I mentioned, we do have some redness right here because of my rosacea. We do have a little bit of texture, but I feel like it does a great job of not enhancing the texture, but actually making it just look nice and just velvety and smooth. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking more product and we're gonna be going in here. I love the way it feels. Like when I touch it and just put it on my finger, it just feels so good. And I'm just kind of buffing it in not really stripping it down. Okay, so I'm noticing right now that even though I'm using a brush, yes, I feel like the coverage is a little tiny bit more fuller right away, but I still feel like it looks really just nice and like skin-like. Now definitely do have to say that I feel like with the side of the brush, it, I don't really have to go in with another layer because look how that good that covered. It's blending right into the skin. The brush is giving me no issues. Let me just put my hair away. The color I think is also really nice. I love how they focused on a natural radiant finish because so many brands have been so focused on coming out with matte foundations, which for people that have oily skin, it's freaking phenomenal. Like it's like, yes, but I've seen a lot of people that have dry skin be like, okay, like we need something glowy. Like I understand you're coming out with really awesome matte foundations, but those will not cut it on our skin. And after having issues with really bad dryness in my rosacea, I can like, I feel for people that have very, very dry skin that just constantly like break apart and stuff because it's not fun. But honestly, the formula in here thus far feels really nice and it looks really nice on my skin. Like I'm just like, whoa. Like I really love how it looks. It's not clinging onto any of my texture. Um, it's not enhancing my texture too much. And it's also just giving me this pretty glow from within that just feels super nice and healthy. And I just feel like that's what a lot of people look for during this time of the year because they want something lightweight. They want something that's gonna look like their skin, not something that's gonna be so full, so matte, because I feel like that's more so for like fall and winter when you wanna do more like full glam. And because the weather's cooler, your skin can tolerate that as opposed to when it's super summery weather, it's like, ugh, I need like less of this. Um, I do wanna touch it though. Okay, it's very sticky. That's one thing that I'm kind of like, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of very sticky foundations, especially during this time of the year because I just feel like through the day, my face just feels super duper sticky. Um, but I'm just gonna see how it does through the day. But besides that, it's looking and feeling really good. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup and then I'm gonna come back on camera, give you guys my very first initial thoughts, tell you how it worked with the rest of my products. And then we can go ahead and start our day and see if this $10 Born to Glow foundation is worth the buy or not. Okay, so I am back. I finished my full face of makeup um, and I am really liking how this foundation looks on my skin. It feels so good. Like it honestly, guys, doesn't feel like I have anything on my face. Like it just feels like it's a day of no makeup. And then I look in the mirror, I'm like, whoa, we have a full face. So I'm really impressed with that aspect of it. As for the glow, I am noticing a little bit of some radiance peeking through. So what I did go ahead and do is when I did go ahead and conceal my eyes and bake my under eyes with my air spun powder, um, which you can find, let me just show you guys in case you're wondering, but you can find this at Walmart. I think Ulta sells it now, um, but this is what I use. And I went ahead and baked. I dusted it away after like a minute or two. And then instead of like wasting the powder, I went ahead and just kind of set these areas right here because this is where I get very, very oily. So right here and a little bit up on my forehead just to make sure that if I did get dewy, it didn't happen as fast as it could if I didn't go ahead and set it. So if you do have combination skin or you're even adventurous and you want to try this as an oily skin person, like full around all oily, then do 
please make sure that you go ahead and set your face with some powder. After wearing this for about 40 minutes and doing my makeup in the process, I feel like it really bonded together with my skin and with the rest of my products. Everything went on so nice and pigmented. You can see I'm wearing blush. I have my highlight on. Um, I'm wearing some bronzer and I have on the concealer and it worked fantastic. Um, so if you are wondering what I'm wearing on my face, I will have the details listed down below in my description box, lipstick, all that fun jazz. So you guys can learn a little bit more about those products. Um, but right now we're off to a great start and you guys know I live for when my foundation reviews are going positive from the beginning. So now what we have to do is wear this for the rest of the day. And if you want to find out my final thoughts, and how this holds up, then you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Okay guys, so I am back. Right now it is 11.49 p.m. at night. So we've worn this foundation for a very, very long day. Legit have my makeup wipes on deck because I'm ready to take off this makeup. And I think you guys can tell what's going on here. We are very, very, very dewy. Um, something else that I noticed about this foundation is that it's very sticky. Right now I feel so sticky. I wanna see how it'll do when I blot. So when I blot, it looks a little bit better, but you can still see that there's radiance. So let's see. Yeah, like I mentioned, it's a very radiant finish. So I would have to say, for me personally, I feel like the way that it felt just super sticky and kind of like, I don't know, like, I feel like right now it does feel like I have makeup on. I definitely feel like this foundation is very geared towards people that have dry skin, that have normal skin i feel like if you have combination and oily skin then you will be perfect with the can't stop won't stop foundation by nyx which is full coverage and a matte foundation this foundation i think is the perfect go-to that's looking for a foundation on a budget for somebody that has dry skin this is the one for you it's a very beautiful finish for that it has a lot of radiance um it's not thick it's very lightweight but it just looks nice for that type of skin type. For somebody that has very oily skin, you're not gonna like this. Um, so those are pretty much all my thoughts. I do have to say, I did like how this looked when I first applied it. I feel like if I were to wear this and I wanted kind of, the times that I would wear this is when I want a like luminous look, but I'm only gonna be wearing it for a very short amount of time. So like if I'm wearing it from like, let's say 9 a.m. to like, mm, like maybe like noon or like 1 p.m. and then I'm gonna take it off or I'm gonna really blot it up, then you're fine. But if you think that, oh, this is gonna make me glow, but I have a little bit of an oily skin side, I'm gonna wear this the whole day, it's not gonna work. And like I mentioned, $10, very, very affordable and very comparable to a lot of high-end dry skin friendly foundations. So definitely look into this. And like I mentioned, there's 45 shades. So you'll easily be able to find your shade and find the perfect match for you. So. Those are all my thoughts. I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. And if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I hope that you stick around because we have so much fun here. And I would not want you to miss my videos for the world. So subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell because that will allow you to be the first ones to watch my videos. And that being said, I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye, guys.